All right, well, Pete, let's start with the lineup for North Judson San Pierre. They will be starting number two, Josiah McDaniel. Number 10, Owen Radke. Number 11, Lucas Burkett. Number 20, Cole Wilcox. And number 22, Connor Benson. The Blue Jays are coached by Kent Chesham. You know, I hope North Justin doesn't too uh, doesn't use their bench too much because uh, my roster here does not have too many names. <laughs> Unless they're pulling from JV. All right. Well, your comments. Let's look at these starters. We're going to be starting number four, Talon Zider. Number five, Corbin Smith. Unless they change that one up on me again, Pete. Oh, yep. Name, our numbers are wrong. That's Grant Yaden tonight. Uh, we're starting Grant Yaden in number five. Number 10, Gavin Mollenkoff. Number 11, Caleb Stinson. And number 15, Lane Hook. Of course, your comments. Coached by Carl Davis, who will be joining us after the game. Bring us a Coach's Eye wrap-up. Yeah, I believe the Grant Yaden wearing number five will continue the rest of the season. Yeah, I probably should update my roster. <laughs> and tip will go to the Blue Jays. We're underway. McDaniel gets the tip. He'll give it to Will. Sorry, Benson. Benson has it near side. He'll kick to Radke to Burkett down low. Wilcox puts it in for two to start the game off. Hook has it. He'll give to Yaden on the wing. Now Yaden has it. He'll kick to Stenson. Stenson pull up three. Rolls in and out. Doesn't fall. Blue Jays get the rebound. Benson will bring it up quick. He'll drive. He'll find Wilcox. Benson back at the center circle now. He'll give it to McDaniel. Burkett. Radke. Now we're back at Burkett. Three on the way by McDaniel. Off the mark. Rebounded by Grant Yaden. Cross court pass to Zyder. Yaden. Molenkoff for three. That one's just off the mark. It's going to be Tip back to him though. It's gonna be a loose ball. Yaden pulls it out. Stinson steps up. He'll put a shot up. That one's off the mark. Ye Molenkoff pulls down the rebound. Stinson has it. He's gonna drive. Zyder. Now Molenkoff. Molenkoff drives. He'll kick it out to Zyder. Stinson top of the key to hook. Molenkoff in the corner. He'll try and dump it down low. It's gonna be loose. Zyder pulls it out though. Great movement there by Zyder to get that loose ball. Stenson to Yaden. Comps been great at keeping those loose balls to, for them. Lob pass into the post. Hook has it. Little hook shot falls for two. Two to two with five, six minutes to go in the first. Now wouldn't any shot that Lane makes actually be a hook shot? Technically, technically you are correct. That was a hook hook shot. We're <laughs> down at the post. <laughs> McDaniel kicks it. It's going to be out of bounds as the Comets don't touch it on the pass. Strong defense in that zone, forcing that turnover. Hook inbounds to Molenkoff, and Molenkoff will bring it up for the Comets. 2-2 two two here at the launching pad tonight. Molenkoff kicks to Stinson. Backdoor cut. Zyder, 2. It falls! He'll go to line for an and one opportunity. Lucas Burkett there taking that or cause, committing that foul. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. His first, team first. And that dubious honor of game first. 
Zider getting three the hard way. Sinks that free throw, five to two. Comets lead, Benson brings it up. He'll give it to McDaniel, near side to Burkett. Radke. Now Burkett has it back. He looks down low, can't find anybody. Kicks it to McDaniel, Benson. Wilcox has it. Radke to Benson. Judson really working that offense. Radke three. That was off the mark. Yaden knocks it out of bounds. Can't get a hold of the rebound. North Judson ball still. Five minutes in the first. North Judson down by three, five to two. Benson inbounds the Wilcox. Benson kicks the McDaniel in the corner. McDaniel back to Benson. North Judson really has been good at working the ball around the arc, finding open shots. And Benson continues to prove it as he gives it to McDaniel, Burkett, and Radke. Radke, McDaniel, McDaniel three. He rolls in and out, can't fall. Stinson pulls down the rebound. He's gonna bring it down. Molenkoff has it, top of the key. Now Zyder kicks to Stinson. Stinson dumps down low to Yaden. Yaden kicks to Molenkoff. Molenkoff gives it to Hook. Hook three. Doesn't fall. Benson gets the rebound. It's a good looking three. It was just a little too hot. Will, or sorry, Radke dumps to Benson. Benson doesn't put it in, but Wilcox puts the rebound in for two. Five to four now with half of the first quarter gone here at the launching pad. Zyder has it near side. He's going to drive. He's going to put up a jump shot off the mark. I think he got tipped there. Looks like there's a lot of contact. No call though. McDaniel has it. He'll kick to Benson. Benson looks to drive. He'll kick to Burkett. McDaniel in the corner. Back to Burkett to Benson. Wilcox three on the way. Doesn't fall. Too long. Stinson kicks up to Hook. Hook, jumper. Doesn't fall. Yaden with the rebound, though. He goes up with it. Power move to put that one in for two. Benson bringing it up, working against Zyder. Comets in a 2-3 zone here. As promised, so far, really tight ball game. Benson gives the... Burkett gets tipped by Zyder. Benson gets it back though. Now Burkett in the, the corner to Radke. Daniel has it. Now he gives to Benson. Benson picks up his dribble. He'll get it over to far side. Now Radke has it. Who dump into the post. Wilcox gets his pass tipped. He'll get it back though. He'll get his shot swatted by Lane Hook. A little bit of size advantage helped Hook out there. Absolutely. Stenson gives the Zyder. Man-to-man -man defense, it looks like, by North Judson. Stenson gives the Zyder again. Molenkoff gives it to Stenson. Stenson drives, kicks. Zyder has it. Got to give it to this Blue Jays defense. They're not given a lot of opportunity. Certain very, certainly very few looks to the inside lanes. Yeah, North Judson playing tight defense. Hasn't opened up any opportunities for the Comets. 90 seconds remain in the first. Casting in the lead, 7-4. Molkoff drives. He'll give it back to Yaden. Yaden gives it to Molkoff. Molkoff has it. Zyder near wing. He'll try and kick it down low, but Benson gets around it. And he's going to get it up to Radke. Radke. Door Judson with numbers. McDaniel tries to throw it out as he didn't find an opening down there in the lane. And Zyder's going to walk with it. He didn't, didn't stop his momentum. Had that fast break and just couldn't quite clamp it down. Yeah, he got met by some Stiff North Judson defenders and 
Tried to stop, didn't stop good enough. Now North Judson working their offense with less than a minute to go in the first. McDaniel has it down low. He'll kick to Benson. Benson spins, puts it up. That one rolls out. That's going to be knocked out of bounds off of number 14, Quinn Bales. 42 seconds. Looks like the Comets might look for the last shot of the quarter. Yeah, it's a shame we don't have any hot read ads, Pete, because uh, that, that failure to stop would have been great for an auto shop. That, the, <laughs> maybe we should discuss that. That would just be extra work for us. That is true. We'd forget. Craig has it. Whoa, good Spencer. pass. Zyder. Zyder dribbles, kicks the Craig. Craig, three. Boom, baby, from downtown Grass Creek. McDaniel brings it down quickly. Seven to go. North Justin, deep three by Bales. Doesn't fall. Yaden has it. Stinson, long shot. Ooh, off the backboard. That had some heat on it. All right, at the end of one, it's cast in 10. North Judson, four. We'll be back for second quarter action. Stay tuned. You're watching Casting Comets Basketball here on RTC TV 4. Well, Pete, I say that. We're having some technical difficulties, and um, maybe we'll get to a commercial. There we go. All right, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Second period coming up. As we come back from that break, Kasten in possession. Second period underway. Kasten in the lead, 10 to 4. Reed Summers enters for the Comets to start the second. He'll have it far side, give it to Klinger. Klinger drives, spins, right handed layup, fall. Great move by Carter Klinger to get that open basket. What's funny about that is him before the game saying, well, if I even get any time on the floor. <laughs> Well, if he keeps playing like that, I definitely see him getting more time. Wilcox gets trapped down low. Benson to McDaniel. Bales, far side. Burkett now. Burkett kicks to Wilcox. Wilcox thought about a shot there. He'll kick the Bales in the corner. Three. That one's in. 12 to 7. 7 to go in the first half. Summers kicks the Zyder, far side. He'll dump it to Grant Yaden at the top of the key. Now Craig has it. Craig kicks the Zyder. Zyder thought about a three. Hard defense, though. Can't get shot up. Summers, he'll give to Yaden. Yaden. We're going to get a foul here on Reed Summers. Well, that will be Summers first. Team first. Summers with a little too much contact as he tried to work his way through the defenders. Which, considering he's the smallest guy out there, it's kind of hard to imagine that. <laughs> Benson has it. He'll give it to Burkett. Now Bales. Back to Burkett. Benson. In the corner, Benson looks to drive. He'll kick to McDaniel. McDaniel will drive. He'll kick to Benson. Benson looks like he falls down. It looks Summers. like he might have tweaked an ankle. He's holding it in the backcourt. We're going to have an official's timeout here. He's going to limp off the floor. It looks like he has a couple ankle braces on, so it's not good for the North Judson Blue Jays with that. So we've got 32, Sam Holm coming in as well as number 10, Gavin Molenkoff coming back in, Lane Hook coming back in for the comments. Summers gets the inbound. He'll kick to Stinson. Smith has it top of the key. He'll kick back to Stinson. Stinson, between the legs. Gives it to Molenkoff, to Hook, near side. Back to Molenkoff, to Stinson. Comets pass it down low to Lane Hook. He's going to kick it out to Reed Summers. Reed Summers travels. Didn't put the ball on the floor before uh, moving his feet there. I saw that one from up here. 
Burkett has it. He gives to number 32, Holm, to McDaniels in the far corner. Bales. Ben, sorry, Holm. McDaniels working against Smith. Burkett gives it to Bales. Bales. He'll drive into the paint. He'll put up a shot. In and out. Stenson pulls down the rebound. He brings it up quick. Finds Smith, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds by Daniels. Talon Zider back in for the Comets. And we have Blue Jays number 30, Eric Materna, coming in. Smith gets the inbound. He'll give it to Hook. Zider on the near wing. He'll dribble all the way around. He'll kick the hook in the far corner. Hook drives. He's going to lose it, though. And that's going to be a foul on Hook as he tried to get the loose ball. Hook picking up his first foul. Team second. Comets have now doubled the number of fouls by both teams combined in the first quarter. With just under five minutes to play. Burkett gives it to Wilcox. Holm has it now. He'll drive. Kick. McDaniel thought about it. He'll drive, though. He'll kick. Burkett, three. Just a little to the right. It'll roll out. Grant Yaden back in for the Comets. And Connor Benson back in for the Blue Jays. Evidently, ankle just locked up a little, need to loosened up. I'm not sure. Stinson bringing the ball across the timeline. Hook gives it to Stinson. Stinson thought, of, thought he was going to take a shot there. He'll dump it to Yaden, though. Yaden gets the loose ball back to Stinson. Half of the second quarter gone. Yaden has it top of the key. He'll dump it down to Stinson. Stinson, spin move, can't put it in. It's going to be out of bounds off of Stinson. Now Wilcox walking with a little bit of a limp. Benson bringing it up for the Blue Jays. We're going to take a timeout here. Thirty-second timeout. Thirty-second timeout. Well, we're going to step away and say thank you to our sponsors. You're watching Cast of Comments Basketball on RTC TV Four. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Three fifty left in the half. Casting up by five, twelve to seven over North Judson Blue Jays. As the Blue Jays bring the ball into the backcourt, start action back. Benson has it. He'll dump it down to Wilcox. Wilcox. Good move there. He'll put it in a reverse layup for two. Comments moving the ball quick. He'll get slowed up by the North Judson defense. Zyder has it. Using a screen. Missed the backdoor cut. Molenkoff will drive. He'll get it knocked out from behind. Oh, it's going to be out off of Molenkoff. Uh, Quentin Bales back in for the Blue Jays as well as uh, Alex Craig for the Comets. Just over three to go in the first half. Comets with only a three-point lead now. Benson to Bales to Materna. Now Holm has it to Wilcox. Wilcox, he'll dribble, kick over to Materna in the corner. Holm has it, top of the key. He'll give it to Materna near side. Down low to Benson. Benson working against Hook. He'll get Hook to go up and draw a foul on the shot. Lane Hook picking up his second. Team's third. First one falls for Benson. Mm -hmm. 
McDaniel back in for the Blue Jays. Klinger back in for the Comets. Benson's second free throw goes up and it's in. 12 to 11 with three minutes to go in the second half, or second quarter. First half, second quarter. Stenson drives baseline. He's going to draw a foul. Foul there on Josiah McDaniel, his first, team first. And we're going to have Lucas Burkett check back in for the Blue Jays. Hollum gets a break. Klinger inbounds, gets the inbound, gives it to Stinson. Now Klinger near side to Craig. Zyder has it. Yaden, he'll give it back to Zyder. Zyder uses the screen, gives it to Yaden on the cut. Oh. Doesn't get the layup to fall. Put it a little too hard off the glass. Blue Jays will come down with that rebound quickly across the timeline. Materna with a lot of movement on that screen. Doesn't get called. Bales backing down Stinson. He'll kick it to McDaniel. Back to Bales. Bales, three. Short of the rim. Comets get it up quick. Stinson sidestep, puts it in for two. Now Benson bringing it back down. McDaniel, corner three, off the mark. We're going to get a foul on McDaniel as Klinger gets a nice box out. That'll be McDaniel's second, team second. Wilcox and uh, Radke enter into the ballgame. Stenson bringing it up with a 96 seconds to go in the first half. Craig has it near wing. He'll give it to Zyder. Zyder loses the pass a little bit. Stenson, three. Off the mark. To be rebounded by Bales. Give 80 seconds in the half. Benson. Burkett. Back to Benson. Now Radke near side. He'll give it to Burkett. Bales far side. Bales picks up his dribble, kicks it out to Benson to Wilcox. Wilcox gets fouled going up for the shot. Foul there on number five, Grant Yaden. His first, team fourth. First shot off the front of the rim. Wilcox with a quick free throw shot there. Second free throw, quickly up and off the side of the rim. Craig pulls down the rebound with a minute to go in the first half. Stenson has it. He'll kick to Zyder. Zyder, three. Too long. Wilcox pulls down the rebound. Almost falls out of bounds with it. Benson gets it up to Radke quickly. Radke, wild pass. Klinger has it. He'll kick to Yaden, back to Klinger. 37 to go. Klinger has it, he'll kick, he'll pick up his dribble. Gets in trouble, gives it to Zyder. 30 seconds. Zyder kicks to Klinger. It looks like Comets might be looking to draw the last shot of the half here. Wilcox gets his hand on that handoff. Now he'll kick out to Bales, three. Too long, way too long. It's gonna be saved. Comets got nine to bring it up. Craig, three. Doesn't fall. Stenson gets the rebound, though. He's going to get fouled. I mean, no shot. But Comets have 1.6 to bring it in. Foul there on Cole Wilcox, his first team third. Comets have 1.6 seconds. Very little time to do anything after the ball gets in. He's got to get rid of it. Craig puts up a floater. Doesn't fall. Offensive foul to end the half. All right, well, that'll be Craig's first, and we'll be going into the locker room. Casting 14, North Judson 11. We'll be back 
for halftime stats. Uh, stay tuned. You're watching Cast and Comments Basketball on RTC TV4. Both teams on the floor. We're going to get started here a little early for the second half. 14 to 11, Comets lead. Blue Jays working quick to start off the half. Burkett gives to Wilcox. Wilcox will drive. He's going to charge. Lowered his shoulder there, and Yaden takes the charge. That'll be Wilcox second. Team first. Thomas down there trying to get the sweat off the floor. They are appeased with what they finished down there. Now Zyder brings it up, gives it to Stinson. To Molenkoff. Molenkoff drives. He puts it up. That's in for two. Absolutely the way you want to start a half. Great work by Molenkoff. Just go up and put it in. Wilcox gives it to Burkett. Benson, far side. Bales. Burkett. Wilcox. McDaniel. McDaniel, three. That one's in. Nothing but net for McDaniel. Fourth time's a charm there for Josiah McDaniel. Put enough up. One's got to go in, right? Down in the hook at the post. He spins. A lot of contact. He's going to tie up with the ball. We're going to get a jump ball. Thomas will keep it on the arrow. Stenson's going to inbound it. Lob pass into Grant Yaden. He'll give it to Zyder. Stenson in the corner. Stenson's going to drive kick. Three for Molenkoff. Doesn't fall. Burkett gets the rebound. He'll give it to Bales to bring it up. Benson near side to McDaniel. Wilcox. Burkett. Burkett has it top of the key. He'll drive. He'll kick to Benson. Benson has it. Benson kicks to Wilcox. Cross court pass to Bales. Bales looks to drive. He'll have to pull it out though. McDaniels. You thought about that three again, Pete. Comets playing tight defense. Not given many open looks at all. Benson drives. He'll put that one up. And it rolls in and out. He can't tie the ball game up. Didn't get any luck there on that one. Molenkoff has it. He'll give it to Stenson. 5.45 to go in the third. Hook has it. Hook gets it tipped from behind. Now Molenkoff has it. Molenkoff drives. He'll go all the way. Puts it up, can't get it to fall. McDaniel with the rebound. McDaniel, he'll give it to Burkett. Bales, deep three. That one's off the front of the rim. He took a step closer, that may have went in. Yaden, double dribbles. And in a one possession game, those are mistakes you can ill afford to make. Sam Hollum coming back in for the Blue Jays. Along with Ma Materna. You got to take time for a shoe tie. And now Bla Blue Jays inbound. Benson has it near side. McDaniel, open three. That one's off the back of the rim. Hook pulls down the rebound. He'll get it up to Stenson quickly. Stenson drive kicks. Zyder in the corner. Boom, baby, from downtown Fulton. Great open look there for Zyder. Benson, he's going to get his stripped, but he gets it back. Great defense by Hook to get a hand on that. Burkett has it. Holm. Near side, Materna. Now Benson. Holm has it. 
Comets in a man-to-man -man defense. Giving the Blue Jays a little different look. Vincent has it, top of the key. He's going to drive, kicks, Materna. Hook is going to foul in there. Got a little bit of the arm trying to steal that one. Hook there picking up his third foul. Team's first. I imagine he, uh, he might get some time out of the game. Save those last two fouls toward, for, towards later in the matchup. Yeah, a little bit of foul trouble here with ha only half of the third quarter gone, but he'll probably be in quick. Zyder just gets that one thrown to him. He drives. He's going to go out of bounds off of the Blue Jays. But, uh, you know, Blue Jays complaining because that was uh, called out off of them. But uh, I think that they're lucky it wasn't yeah. called a foul. I was going to say, there's a lot of contact there. Um, Cole I, Wilcox back in for I, the Blue Jays. I will say, though, that ball definitely went off of Zyder. Zyder kicks it down low into Yaden. Yaden hook shot himself. He puts it in for two. Comets have run the score back out to a seven-point lead, 21-14. to 14. Half of the third gone. Wilcox gives it to Holm near side. Holm is going to get fouled by Craig. Alex Craig picking up his second, team second. Oh, and Radke back in for the Blue Jays. Benson inbounds to Holm. Radke in the corner. He'll dribble out and kick it to Holm. Benson. McDaniel. Radke thought about a three there, didn't take it. Benson has it now. He'll drive. Kick it to McDaniel. Corner. He'll dribble. Floater. Gets it to fall. Nice little jump shot there by McDaniel. Stenson gives it to Craig. Zyder has it back to Craig. Craig gives it to Stenson. Stenson spin move. Puts that one too short. He gets his own rebound. He'll go up with it and get fouled by Wilcox. Wilcox picking up his third, team second. First free throws up and doesn't fall. Put it too short. Quentin Bales coming back in. Gonna give Wilcox a break. Got to tuck in a jersey here. Stenson looking to hit his second here. And it does fall. Put the Comets back out to a six point advantage. Blue Jays working their offense once again. Both teams playing tough defense. Bales three. Just a little short. Yaden gets it up to Stinson. Stinson crossover. A lot of contact. He puts it up. Can't get it to fall. Bales has it. He'll bring it down. He'll get trapped. We're going to get a foul here. And they're going to put that one on Alex Craig. His third. Team third. Gavin Molenkoff back in for the Comets. Craig gets a break. Inbound into Holm to Benson. Benson dumps down to Holm. Holm drives, puts up a hook shot himself. Can't get the fall. Stenson pulls down the rebound. Two minutes to go in the third, 22-16. Low scoring affair here at Caston High School. Again, that comes down to a couple of really good defensive teams out here. 
Yaden, three himself. Boom, baby, three-pointer by Grant Yaden. Thought about it, changed his mind, decided to go for it anyway, drains it. Yeah, I saw him in warm-ups, I saw him hit one, and man, oh man, glad to see him put one up here. We're going to get a full timeout. Oh, full. All right, we're going to step away and pay some bills. You're watching Casting Commons Basketball on RTC TV4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 143 remains in this third quarter, casting up by 9, 25-16. As North Judson prepares to inbound the ball. Just a reminder, we are hosting a regional here, a girls regional tomorrow evening. Uh, your Lady Comets, of course, will be playing in the 7 o'clock game against Bethany Christian. There are still tickets available, but they are running out. You might consider purchasing one online if you intend to come in and watch. North Judson gets it here off the timeout. Bales gets triple teamed in the corner. He'll cross court, pass it up to McDaniel. McDaniel drives, he's gonna get fouled hard by Stenson. Great <laughs> save by the ref there. <laughs> Athletic play. By the ref. Yeah. All right, Stenson picks up his first, team fourth. Next comments foul will put the Blue Jays into the bonus. Comments really playing aggressive here later in this game. Well, later in this game. They played aggressive in the second as well. McDaniel with two shots here. His first one is up and no good. Corbin Smith in for the comments. Second free throw up and gets a lucky roll. Lucas Burkett back in for the Blue Jays. Looks like Blue Jays going to put on some pressure here. Clear Stenson to the baseline. Gets the inbound. He'll bring it down quick. He's going to get stripped from behind. No, no help there from his bench to call out that defender coming from behind. Holm's got it. Maybe holding for the final shot as we uh, cross the one minute mark. I think it's a little, little early to do that, but I guess if you can, you might as well. Benson has it, top of the key. McDaniel. Burkett has it. Radke. Comment student section trying to psych out the players. Holm, he's going to hold it up top now. Looks like they might be waiting for the last shot. Benson has it. I don't know about that strategy when you're down by eight, but I'm not the coach. Uh, eight points isn't that much. Well, that's true. We've seen that evaporate quickly. Benson gives it to me. No, he dribbles through. He's getting, now we'll give it to McDaniel. To Radke, to Holm, eight to go. Radke, Benson, Benson, Burkett, McDaniel. He'll take a Burkett three, short of the rim, short of the basket, short of in the hoop. <laughs> All right, at the end of three, casting 25, North Judson 17. We'll be back for fourth quarter after these words are on RTC TV4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as that timeout expires. Eight fresh minutes to play as we head towards that final buzzer, casting up 25 to 17. I, I'm still not sure about the strategy of holding for a minute there by the Blue Jays, but they're going to start this fourth quarter with possession, and maybe that's what they were considering. I don't think their original plan there was the hold for the whole time, but the cast and defense gave them basically no choice but to do so. Benson gives the Bales three. Short. It's going to go out of bounds. Bale's taking some deep shots here tonight and hasn't connected on all. He connected on one, correct? He connected on one. Now Comets had the ball. Stinson will bring it up. But judging by the number of shots that Bale's taken, I feel like he's an outside shooter just having an off night. Yeah, definitely, especially from where he's taking them. 
but he shows some definite confidence out there. Stenson thought about a three himself. He'll give it to Hook near side. Zyder to Molenkoff. Back to Hook. Yaden top of the key. Stenson has it. Stenson can drive kick. Zyder thought about a three. He won't take it though. Almost walked with it off that fake though. One minute gone. Stenson pulling it out. Gonna reset the offense a little bit. Zyder kicks the hook far side. Now back to Zyder. Zyder kicks to Yaden. Yaden gets tipped. He'll give it to Zyder. He'll kick Zyder to Yaden. Yaden puts it in for two. Great play by the Comets. Move the ball around. Open up a lane. Easy layup. That's what they need to keep doing tonight. Bales. Wilcox three. That one's in. Quickly cutting into that lead. What was a first double digit lead of the night at 10 is now back down to seven. Six. You only gotta be up by one at the final buzzer though. Lady Comets proved that last Saturday. Now, Molenkoff drives, he'll put the shot up, doesn't fall. No call on that, a lot of contact. Bales has it. He'll drive baseline, he'll get trapped. Wilcox thought about another three, he'll drive though. They're gonna call a another charge no on him. Another charge. Wilcox picking up his fourth foul of the night with that charge call. At least two of those have been charges. Where Radke's gonna enter for the Blue Jays. Gonna give Wilcox a break with four fouls with six to go. That's, that's definitely foul trouble. Alex Craig comes back in for the Comets. Comets once again flexing this bench depth that they have. Gonna have a kickball on that inbound. Wilcox, uh, expect to see him probably come back in with four, three minutes left in that. I'd game. say so. He's been pretty key for him again. He was their leading scorer in the first half. Molenkoff gets the inbound. We're going to get a kick ball, I think. Another kick ball there by Lucas Burkett. Craig gets the inbound. He's going to cross court. Stinson pulls it down one hand. Huge cross court. Puts that one in. Great. Great play by the Comets there. Great work by Craig to break the press by throwing it all the way down to Stenson. Great and athleticism Stinson. by Stenson to pull that down one-handed. Benson kicks McDaniel, corner three. That one's off of the mark. It's gonna be a loose ball. Craig pulls it out. Stenson's gonna bring it up. 29-20, 5.15 to go. Hook has it, near side. He'll give to Craig at the elbow. Stenson looking to the post. Can't find anything. He'll bring it out, reset the offense. Zyder, he's going to drive. He's going to... No, it's going to be a charge on Craig. Moving screen. Alex Craig there picking up his fourth foul with that offensive foul. Sam Holland back in for the Blue Jays. Grant Yaden in for the Comets. Craig's gonna get a breather. Benson will bring the ball up quickly. Holm has it far side. He'll dump it down into Burkett. Burkett kicks to Benson. Benson goes up with it and he'll put it in for two. 29-22, 4.30 to go. Stinson drives. No, we're going to get a moving screen by Yaden. Grant Yaden picking up his second, team second. Students, comment student section, not happy with that call. Uh, well, I, I didn't even see it. I saw Grant setting that pick, and I thought he was there for long enough that he was going to be plenty set, but must have moved his feet with contact. Lob pass, it's gonna be foul on Molenkoff. 
Molenkov there picking up his first, team third. Quick three fouls for the Comets. Wilcott. Rapidly rushing towards putting Blue Jays into bonus. Wilcox back in for the Blue Jays. Benson looking to inbound. He'll give it to Burkett, to McDaniel. Holm has it. A little too deep for him to shoot that. Colin Burkett, Benson. Benson, he's going to drive. He's going to get his pass tip. Comets have it. Stenson has it. He's Under gonna, four here. He's going to drive, put it up. Ah, I can't get it to fall. Yep, that's going to be a foul on Molenkoff. Molenkoff picking up his second. Team four. Next Comets foul puts the Blue Jays in the bonus. Carter Klingler back in for the comments. Benson bringing it down, 29-22. 3.45 to go. Benson gives the Burkett. Holm back to Burkett. Wilcox, three. Well left of the basket. Stenson will bring it up. Working against Wilcox, he'll give it to Hook. Back to Stenson. Stenson dishes the Yaden at the elbow. Yaden will take a dribble. Stenson, three. Doesn't fall. Quickly down the court by Benson. Powers through the tip by y or Zyder and looks like we're gonna get a timeout here by North Judson. 30 second timeout. Well, Pete, I think we're going to go ahead and keep it here. 305 remaining. Comets still lead by five, 29 to 24. Again, North Judson in the bonus with another foul. I imagine that uh, Coach Davis is going to talk a little bit about cleaning up that defense. Uh, yeah, Comets uh, played really good defense all game. Started to break down here, but that's mainly been because of. Uh, Offensive misses and the Blue Jays bringing it down quickly. Comets have got to slow it down and uh, keep the Blue Jays in half court because they've been playing really good defense in, in the half court. And realistically, I think at this point, I realize that we've still got three minutes on the clock. Comets' best bet now is to use those passing lanes the way they did so effectively in the first half. Keep that ball moving, keep the clock running. They're gonna get it across the timeline. A little bit of a struggle against the press that time. Klinger working against Benson. He'll give it to Hook. Hook to Stenson. Zyder near wing. To Klinger. Klinger gets it tipped. He's going to give it to Stinson, far side. Less than 2.30 to go. Looks like Comets may be playing a little stall ball here. That pass almost stolen. It's going to be kicked down to Yaden. Yaden puts it in for two. And that's the kind of play I was talking about. Move that ball, break down the defense. Taking him almost a minute off the clock. That's just an added bonus, Pete. Burkett. Bales. Burkett up top. Bale. Comets up by seven with less Benson than two Burkett to go. three. That one's off to the right. Clinger pulls down the rebound. Now Stinson will bring it up with less than two to go. Zyder, far side. He'll give it to Clinger. We're going to get a timeout here by Coach Davis. 30-second timeout. All right, well, this time we are going to step away and say thank you to our sponsors. They let us bring you these broadcasts. You're watching Cast and Comets on RTC TV. Welcome back to Cast and High School. 143 remains in regulation. Your Comets up by 7, 31-24 over the North Judson San Pierre Blue Jays. Comets with possession. And we get the ball and play in the backcourt. Minute 40 to go. Craig gives it to Stenson. Hard pass there. Stenson almost lost it. Now Yaden has it. 
Gaden back to Stenson. Stenson to Craig. Craig is going to get fouled there. Foul there on number 14, Quinn Bales. His first, team second. Blue Jays got plenty of those to get. Well, plenty, three. <laughs> it's well, and they've got a lot of players with very, very few fouls. So Craig gives it to Hook. Hook. He's going to give it to Yaden. Yaden to Stenson. Comet's really just playing stall ball here. Zyder kicks it down to Yaden. Yaden's going to get triple teamed, and it's going to be a foul. They're going to put that on Bales again. No, 32. That's Sam Hollum, his first. Team third. Number 23. Logan, Logan Pradke? It's weird that they'd have a Radke and a Pradke. Inbound to Hook. Gets tipped. Hook is going to lose it anyways. He's going to be out of bounds off of the Blue Jays. Looks like the refs are going to convene, though. And there's a lot of contact on that, too. I'm a little surprised there wasn't a foul called. Lots of calls. And they're right. going to give it to North Judson. Refs doing good work, talking it over, making sure the right call gets called. Unlike the, uh, any league higher than this, we can't go to the replay booth, which is good because uh, the games take too long at that point. Well, that would be us. That's a lot of pressure. I, I'm not equipped for that, Pete. Minute to go. Benson has it. Bales, three. That one's off of the front iron. Zyder gets fouled by Benson. One more foul sends the Comets into the bonus. That'll be Benson's first. Alex Craig back in for the Comets. Pradke in for the Blue Jays along with Radke. I'm going to mess that up. <laughs> Zyder to inbound. He'll give it to Craig. Craig, he's going to get fouled. Foul on Pradke. That'll be his first. And that will put the Comets into the bonus. You think they brought him in just to foul? That very well could be. Because it looked like Coach Davis only brought Craig in because of the fact we were on offense. Craig, of course, has four. He'll sink that first free throw, though. Connor Benson back in for the Blue Jays. Second free throw falls. And now Molenkopf will enter for the Comets. Comets back out to a nine point advantage, under one minute to play. I still wouldn't call this impossible, Pete. No. McDaniel, three. That one's in. We're going to get a timeout. All right, Blue Jays taking a full timeout. We're going to be back here in a minute. You're watching Cast of Comments Basketball, RTC TV 4. Only a six-point advantage. I mean, we're talking as little as a two-possession game. Under 45 to play. That's still a lot of time on the clock. Inbound into Yaden. Yaden struggling. A lot of contact there by Bales. Be Bale second. If anybody's still caring to keep count, that's six on the Blue Jays. Doesn't matter after five. Gaden's first free throw goes up and off the front iron. Benson and Molenkoff enter the game. 41.1. Yaden's second free throw. Goes off the same spot. Blue Jays ben get that rebound quickly down court. Ball's tipped. Zyder pulled. No, we're going to get a foul on Molenkoff. Molenkoff's third, and that puts the Blue Jays in the bonus. And uh, of all of the players to send to the line, I don't know that I would have chosen McDaniel. First one falls. Yeah. 
McDaniel two for three from the charity stripe tonight. And he'll be three for four. Craig enters. Yaden's gonna take a seat. Getting some ball handlers in the ball game. Gonna get it into Zyder. seconds on the clock. Zyder kicks it down to Craig, but it's gonna be knocked out of bounds out of all, out of, out off Pradke. We're gonna get a timeout here by Coach Davis. Full timeout. All right, well, we'll be back in a minute. Stay tuned to see how this one wraps up on RTC TV4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just over 30 seconds remains in regulation in this game that has come down to a two-possession game. Stenson gets the inbound. He's going to kick it cross-court to Zyder. Zyder gets it across the timeline. He's going to get hacked. I thought I heard the slaps from up here. Foul there on 14, Quinn Bales. He's picked up his third. Ziders, first free throw. Goes up and in. As close as this game has gotten, that ball has to feel very weighty at the free throw line. Well, I know Zyder has practiced a lot of them, so hopefully it's not as weighty as you think, and second one falls. 35-29. Six-point lead, Stinson gets a steal. 20 seconds to go. He's going to get it, Zyder. Zyder is going to hold it. Smart move, he's going to get fouled. <laughs> not the guy you want to send to the line. Foul there on Connor Benson, his second. First free throw for Zyder. Is up and good. Nothing but net. And that barely moved. Second free throw. Ooh, doesn't go in. Rolls in and out. Blue Jays got to get it across quickly. Benson, he's going to kick. Burkett three. That one rolls in. And we're going to get a timeout here by North Judson. I'm going to guess it's a full because that's probably all he has left. Good call on that. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 3.2 on the clock. Connors Craig, just have to get it in. And pass. there it is. Stinson pulls it down. All right. At the end of a hard-fought game, it's casting 36. Blue Jays 32. We're going to step away, count up some stats from the game. We'll be back with the post-game wrap-up and an interview with Coach Carl Davis. We appreciate you joining us here tonight. Stay tuned for that post-game show. You're watching Casting Comments Basketball on RTC TV4.